Derek, well, what kind of demands are these? Shepard limo to and from the fast lane daily set? A Lamborghini on weekends? A corporate jet? Are you joking? Are you kidding about this? <laughs> you guys can't deny that lately, I mean, the show's been picking up steam because of yours truly here. I mean... Uh, uh, not no no. Uh, okay, October second, you did get a right, yeah, okay. Yes, which, which which is great. We almost had seven thousand subscribers on YouTube, and uh, yeah, millions and millions and millions of uh, views a month. I'll so, give you that. Well, but you have to be reasonable. You have to be reasonable. Come on. I'm being protected. Yeah, you. It's about time, JF. Ah, oh, damn it! That's French roast. I asked for mocha choco frappuccino. Derek, okay. just get ready for the show. You guys, oh, coffee, that's all I want. JF. A Toyota concept car revolutionizes walking, a BMW dealer is called out for unnecessary roughness, and a new Honda concept could mean a new coupe is on the way. What's up, I'm Derek D, and you are watching Fast Lane Daily. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D, always friend. It's Tokyo Auto Show time again. Well, later this month. That means car makers are rolling out some of their wildest concept cars for the tech-happy Japanese audience. One of the most radical is Toyota's iReal concept. Less a car than a motorized bark a lounger, the iReal is something Toyota calls a personal mobility vehicle. It wouldn't be so great in an 18-wheeler's crosswind, but it might revolutionize walking. Think of it as a safer version of the Segway, both for longer distances. Like getting from Macy's to JCPenney without having to cut through the food court. We've all heard the talk. But is BMW really the favorite car brand of the world's assholes? Maybe not, but a dealership in San Diego isn't doing its reputation any favors. A California woman returning her leased BMW says she was mistreated and berated by a dealership manager. According to her account, posted on the website Consumerist, the manager refused to accept the return, yelled at her in front of her kids, and threatened to call the police. After she told him she'd once owned a Volkswagen and gotten better treatment there, the manager reportedly told her she, quote, didn't deserve a BMW. And after that, he punched a puppy in the face, stole a kid's lollipop, and mooned an old lady. What a scumbag. Next up, is Honda planning a new CRX? That's in the internet rumor mill, right after this. So the other day I was driving down the 405 and I saw a car, it was a yellow car, and it totally cut me off, and that really pissed me off because usually when I drive down, Love Fastland Daily? Golly, we sure hope so. Friend us on MySpace, Facebook, and YouTube. Being our friend not enough for you? Subscribe to Fastland Daily to make sure you get your daily dose. This week, Honda rolled out its latest design concept. It's a sports coupe dubbed the CRZ. If those letters spark a memory of Honda coupes of Christmas past, it should. Replace the Z with an X, and you get the Honda CRX. Still a favorite among the import tuner crowd, the CRX, some say, is slated for a comeback and the CRZ may be a sneak peek at what's to come. Honda says the CRZ concept represents its vision for the next generation lightweight sports car. It's powered by a gas electric hybrid drive system and shares a vague similarity with the current Civic. No word on production plans, but Autocar says a new dedicated hybrid model will be out in 2008. Maybe you're looking at it. Well, that wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. Tune in tomorrow when we try and trade our Segway in at a Toyota dealership. Later.